are a little bit vulnerable, the, the load is light. And then as your joints are in a, a more protected position, the load is heavier. Whereas if you're bench pressing a bar, the weight is the same here as it is here. So this, this keeps you safe where you're vulnerable, and this loads, loads up on you when you're a little safer. And then as you're coming back, you yourself back. Whatever arm is more mobile, you just come back over the head. So here you are. All right. That worked out yeah, perfectly. Yeah, so hands are going to be right here. Just yeah. You also don't want to get away from yourself because then you'll get yourself kind of split in two. So palms facing forward. And I don't want to cross these over. No, you're good. And elbows, let's have the elbows kind of in line. There you go. Now we're going to walk forward. And right from there, just start. And chest high, eyes on the horizon, and we'll go 10 reps. That's it. That's it. Elbows high if you can, if it feels safe. Yep. You're going to feel a little stronger in that position if it feels safe. Yeah. Good. And we'll go for 10 reps here. Why 10? It's just a law of fitness. Everything has to be 10. <laughs> we can do 9. Let's break the rules here today. We'll do 9. But it's just a nice easy number. Elbows high. We'll go maybe 3 more and we'll call that 10. Okay, there you go. And then, so now you're going to walk backwards, just to take the tension off the band. Just going to move. It's like fighting. It's not feeling like you're going to a little bit. somebody. And by the way, you can do these one at a time. You can do these. That's another option that, that you have with this. So the only thing I saw technically that could be improved is you want to have the elbows in, in line. Of the so if I was going to punch somebody, I wouldn't have the elbow down, right? I'd have the elbow behind the fist. So that's why if, if, it, if it's not feeling painful or uncomfortable, you want to have that kind of emotion. Okay. Yeah, okay. I watched a lot of fights with my dad. <laughs> but, but watch this. Think about a push-up, right? You'll see people in gyms doing rows like this. All the way to here and then yeah, they'll come back. Well yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to come back more than neutral. So here is shoulders neutral. This is shoulders protracted. This is retracted. So, neutral, pull to your pockets, to your hip bones, throw the chest out, maybe hold for a moment, palms are down, palms are facing each other, and really, you want to feel a lot of stuff happening right here. That's where we want to really feel, it involves your latissimus muscle as well, but if you on your own, if just, just stand neutral and pinch your shoulder blades together. That's one half of the movement we're looking for. The other half, which is harder, is to pull your shoulder blades down. So you want to suck those shoulder blades down. And the only way to do it is throw your chest up. It's, it's subtle, but watch my chest. You know, it's not a huge motion. It's just a little bit. That's the motion we're looking for. And by the way, the muscles we're working on this will help to just create this nice tall posture all day long without you even worrying about it. It'll just be natural. And and the muscles we're working on this exercise are the ones that come That's actually it. Good. Good. Pinch those fingers. Nice. That is exactly it. Chest high all the time. Good. Nice. Nice. Pinch. And one more repetition, then I'll take it from you. Nice. Now you're stuck unless you walk back to it. So, yeah. And this is not a drill you do particularly to fatigue. You would never want to get yourself like particularly exhausted on this but straight arms and just initiate from the shoulder blades, and that's it. Do we have a name for this? Band pull-aparts. Band pull-aparts. <laughs> yep, yep, good. Nice, Ellen. Yeah, you guys engage the whole body when you do it right. Yep. Do it right the first time. Yep. yep. Should feel nice. good. Should feel healthy and productive.